Many of the chronic diseases we see today, like heart disease, type 2 diabetes, and hypertension, can often be prevented through diet and exercise alone. We can nourish our bodies by learning how to make healthy eating choices and habits. It is recommended that when you begin eating your meals, you should become mindful of the food that is in front of you. Removing any distractions in the room, like the TV, your phones, or computer, is very important. Focusing on your meal and the people around you at the table is also very important and will let you feel the feelings of hunger and fullness. The Mediterranean diet is a diet that primarily focuses on incorporating daily fruits and vegetables while trying to limit things like processed meats or red meats as well as dairy. It also includes beans, nuts, whole grains, seafood, and healthy oils like olive oil. An easy way to begin the Mediterranean diet would be to start switching from using butter to using olive oil when you are cooking. Another easy way would be to use spices and herbs in your cooking rather than adding salt. This will give your food more flavor and less sodium. And if you want to make more changes, the next best steps would be to make sure you're incorporating daily fruits and vegetables, as well as limiting your processed meats and red meats. There really aren't bad foods or good foods. It's more about balance, moderation, and variety. The focus shouldn't be on elimination of foods, but it should be more about incorporating the healthier options when you can. Our bodies need movement and activity in order to thrive. It is important to spend less time sitting and more time up and moving around. Those who are inactive have an increased risk of heart disease, type 2 diabetes, and early death. 30 minutes of daily activity is recommended to keep your body healthy. And if you're new to exercise, you can start slow and start with five minutes of moderate activity at a time. Activities like walking, biking, hiking, or playing your favorite sport are good options. Exercise isn't just good for our physical health. It's good for our mental health too. Daily activity can help us with our sleep and can also decrease feelings of depression and anxiety as well. Mental health plays a central role in our overall wellness. The path to a healthy mind includes stress management and healthy sleeping habits. Some examples of common stress relievers include completing your favorite activity or hobby, exercise, as well as yoga or meditation. All of these can help clear the mind and relieve stress and tension. Six to eight hours of sleep a night is ideal. Some healthy sleeping habits include making sure you're going to bed at the same time each night and waking up at the same time each morning. Also, eliminating any distractions in your bedroom like TV, cell phones, or computers 30 minutes to an hour before you fall asleep is important. Avoiding large meals like caffeine, alcohol, this should be done two to three hours before you fall asleep at night. Sleep apnea affects over 22 million Americans, and it is estimated that 80% of those cases are undiagnosed. If you are known to snore loudly at night or you feel tired after a full night's sleep, then you should ask your doctor about testing for sleep apnea. Risk factors include older age, increased neck circumference, obesity, as well as family history. Untreated sleep apnea can lead to hypertension and heart disease. Meditation uses mindfulness, awareness, and focus to help achieve an emotionally calm state. If you would like to learn how to meditate, there are several free apps on phones that you can get that will help lead you in a guided meditation.